I was originally saved over 2,000 years ago when God the Son took on human flesh and offered himself as a perfect sacrifice for all of mankind, defeating the power of sin by suffering on the cross and destroying death through his miraculous resurrection. I am being saved daily through my intentional decisions to follow Jesus' example within each situation that I find myself. Viewing paradise not as just a someday destination, but as the everyday experience of self-denial, of being filled through the Eucharist, obedience, and love for others with Christ. I will, Lord have mercy, be saved at the great and final judgment when I give an account for a lifetime of actions, when it becomes clear whether or not I cooperated with the grace so generously bestowed upon me. Who of us, having been blessed beyond all comprehension, should feel the need to ensure that regardless of our choices, a reward will be ours free and clear? Who of us dare to sit idle with our assurances, interpreting the conditions of the bridegroom's invitation while our lamps for illuminating the darkness run out of oil. My individual salvation is being worked out with fear and trembling through the unique responsibilities God deemed best to set before me. Based upon the model of the publican who beat his breast and begged for leniency, I am careful to not assume I have a handle on the spiritual state of others. I would do best, rather, to stay focused on my own flagrant shortcomings reverencing both friends and enemies, all of whom were created in God's image as living icons of Christ Jesus. I share my faith, yes, but not out of obligation. A soul that's found its meaning cannot help but be a witness to such joy. My ongoing testimony is presented through acts of service in accordance with Christ's commandment to love God by loving your neighbor. I pray ceaselessly for the courage to fight the good fight, staying faithful until my very last breath upon this earth.